Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here with your weekend anomaly mission for the weekend of November 8th through 10th. That's November 8th through 10th. I want to thank you all for joining me today. And you know what? I'm going to start this out by saying, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you all being here today. So we're going to get our anomaly mission going on. And as you know, with this weekend, we've got the expedition going on for Beachhead. So please check out my video coming out shortly in regards to that. I've got a full playthrough video coming out that's about two hours long, give or take, about two hours, 15 minutes or so. So I hope you enjoy that video. It is the entire playthrough and how to get it done in the most efficient manner. That's all it is. Efficiency. There's no battle in this there's no fighting so those of you who don't like to fight great great one to do plus you get that wonderful frigate the normandy at the end that is pretty cool anyway here we got we got anonymous assistant assistance we're going to rescue a stranded life form it gives us 1800 quicksilver and a b-class reactor for our ships so let's check that out shall we initializing starting the mission okay let's continue on we're going to check out a couple things too i want to see what happens here i'm going to be pulling in a ship here in a little bit all right, so instead of my usual ship that I'm using today, I'm going to use a slightly different ship. And I'm doing this on purpose. I just got to find it. I know he's in here. There we go. It's my solar ship, the Blue Divide. Let's take this sucker out for a spin. And I have a secondary reason for doing so, and you'll see that soon. I love doing barrel rolls in hyperspace, don't you? <laughs> Only certain ships can do it. Our spaceship can't do it. Our Centennial Hawk that I called it. At least that's what I called it. A Century Hawk, I should say, that I have. But here we go. All right, so we're in our system. We're going to find our stranded life form, which is... Over here, down there, there it goes. It's pointing now. Okay, there we go. All right, a stranded life form is there. We're going to go ahead and rescue this uh, person. And it usually, for me, it's always started out as a traveler. And then when I go back, it ends up as whatever the life form in the system is. So I always thought that was really interesting. Oh, it's approximate location. Let's slow down. I'm going to go into this and look, because we're looking for a little square block on our radar. Oh, I think we found it. It is right over here. Right there. There he is. All right, let's bring it in. And out we go. Okay, let's see what this guy wants. There might be a little fighting involved in this. Just a fair warning, okay, guys? All right. Yep, it's a traveler at the moment. Traveler seems surprised to see me. Their eyes search mine, wondering why I'm here and how I found them. Looking defeated, traveler... I'm not going to try it. Reveals their ship's burnt-out user authenticator. This part is far beyond repair, but it could potentially be replaced. All right. So, to do this, and you might have seen this before, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out a terrain manipulator, which is almost out of juice here. Let me go ahead and get that recharged. And while we're at it, we're going to recharge everything else because it seems to want me to recharge everything else right now. Okay, there we go. We're going to look for things. It's basically we're going to look for buried technology modules, okay? And if we find one that works, we can repair it. Okay, here we go. That's going to tell us it found the rare authentic uh, authenticator, right? And what we do is we go into our inventory, if you have the room for it anyway, and select it. And if it works, it's going to tell us it's a good module. Okay, decryption terminal located. That means we have a good module here. Sometimes you have to do you have to search around for a couple of them before you get one that works. All right. Now, the decryption terminal has been activated. It is that way six minutes away but we're going to take our ship of course now when we get there there's a possibility we may have to fight sentinels okay just a heads up on that guys doesn't look like it was far at all we probably could have walked all 
Bring it in for a landing. I'm going to land on top of the hill here, just in case. Okay. See? Sentinels? Pull out your best weapon. And you will have to take them out. One down. Here's the other one. There's one. Melted. Three. That's all of them. Feel free to pick up the uh, goods from them if you wish. I think I shot that one. Okay, good. And let's go to the terminal. There we go. Terminal status active. Please present compatible device. We decrypt it. User authenticator detecting. Detected. Pardon me. Pairing. Key downloaded. Syncing. Device decrypted. And that's it. Now we go back to our ship and we rescue our alien friend. Once I get up my slope here to my ship, because I think I parked too far away. There we go. Good deal. And off we go back. There we go. Fly through the trees. Guess those are trees. They look like giant flowers, but whatever. And... And... Landed. There we go. Okay. Go hit this guy up real quick, and the ungrateful cur will most likely just leave without even saying thank you. Give the part. Boom, God, and he's a Viking, and he just up and goes, and it's, oh, you piece of... They never say thank you. Okay, well, let's go ahead and leave. Alright, so we're going to head up to the anomaly first. Boing. Actually, where is the space station here? Is there one here? There is. Let's head towards the space station. I'm going to put the anomaly right there. We're going to hit the space station here in just a couple moments. But let's hit the anomaly first and get our reward. And I'll show you why. Okay. Space station. Anomaly. There we go. It's nice. I like this little ship blue with the uh, kind of sort of slightly blue and green uh, sails on it. I like that a lot. It looks really nice together. There we go. All right, let's get our reward. And that's all there is to doing this particular mission of rescuing the life form. So once you got that down, it's pretty quick. As you can see, we've completed this in like eight minutes. And that's it. Okay, complete. And you get your rewards. Okay. Quicksilver vendor real fast. As usual. Exotic items. What do we got? We got our ribbons. We got all of them opened up now. You can buy all of them. And nothing else is new. Okay. There's no other new items. So they're holding off on that. Probably waiting on something kind of important. Don't you think? Maybe. If you need to, you can go to this terminal here and play the expedition. Which is the current one. Which is Beachhead. So feel free to do so. Select some equipment and go through on your own. And you can do it on your regular save if you wish to. Now, one thing I'm going to do here, folks, where is my ship? Is I'm going to be leaving this area. And we're going to go to the space station for just a moment. Now, we're not going to go to this space station. It's going to kick me out and send me to another space station. It is what it is. So I'm going to go through hyperspace again. So if you want to get back to the system you're at, just exit the anomaly and you'll be heading there. Something I forgot about. The reason why I pulled out my solar ship is I've heard rumors that you can now get parts from solar ships. I'm not going to part this one out, but we're just going to check it. Because if we can, that would be a great thing. We can now find all kinds of neat parts for solar ships and I can create my own. I'm really, really psyched about that. I've been wanting to do that for a while. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's an outlaw station. Hmm, hold on. Can we do it in an outlaw station? Yeah, we still can. I think we can. No, we can't. Can't do it in an outlaw station. We're going to have to go to another system. Go figure. Why am I in an outlaw system? I don't know. Why am I asking you? You can't tell me. Let's go over here. 
Should have thought of that, I guess. <laughs> All right. Got to do those barrel rolls once in a while. These ships are great for it. They look cool when they do that. All right. Ooh, interesting system. I like the color of the atmosphere on that planet. Fascinating. I think I found a cool one to go to, and I will go ahead and do that. What do you mean I'm close to the station? I guess I am closer to the station than I thought. It's tiny from here, I suppose. Interesting looking station. More new designs, maybe? Or just ones I haven't seen yet in all my travels? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's exit and see if the rumors are true. So, and again, I'm not getting rid of this ship, but we're going to check it out. Salvage. Customization. My gosh, you can. You can now do these guys, too. I've got some uh, research to do. I got some research to do. I want to go find some nice ships. All right. Well, that's fantastic. I like that. So you, uh, if you didn't know about that, you can now customize your solar ships, which is really, really, really cool. So I'm looking forward to trying that out, folks. All right, guys. We're going to call it here. I want to thank you all for watching the Anomaly video today. And I want to say goodbye and farewell. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons. And we'll see you again next time. Take care, everybody.